which I'm going to reveal to you today is the secret of the Christ within. Not without. The Christ in you. And that's this Christ. You see, there are 33 bones along here. And when you get to the last one and you cross the medulla oblongata here in the bottom, at the bottom of the head, and here are the 12 cranial nerves, when you get to the 33rd bone where the Christ is crucified, he gets crucified at this cross here. See, this is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the nerve that goes through your body. It's vagrant. It just wanders around through the body, feeding the heart, the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, all the vital organs, and then it returns all the fluid back to the cerebrum. Aries, the ram, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. In the book of Revelation, it mentions the Lamb of God 29 times. What have sheep got to do with salvation? And the most holiest of books, every chapter, there's only 22 chapters, 22 again, Revelation, because it's the 22 parts of the Catalytic tree. When you look properly, you will see it. We're going to do this now. Now we're going to do the... We're going to do biochemistry now, mixed with astrotheology, to show how our body is below of what is above. And we're going to learn how we can use our body to ascend. Inside, we ascend. If you're looking outside for ascension, waiting for a saviour to come vicariously to save you, this is not going to happen. It never has. It never will. sacred cerebrospinal oil which produces our body the cerebrospinal system the first system in the body out of the 12 systems in the body that is fully developed and the oil that comes from the claustrum little closet little cloister just below the cerebrum descends and and comes down to the sacred here we have the sacrum bone the sacral bone we're going to look at this in a minute and it's a pump it's a bone five fused bones and it pumps and it pumps the oil back up when the oil returns, we have illumination. We have entered the higher mind. And we are baptized in the Jordan, which starts in Orion. At the foot of Orion is a star called Regal, Rigel. And the river Eridanus goes all the way to the foot of Aquarius. From Orion to Aqu from Orion in Taurus to Aquarius. And Aquarius is the water bearer. And, and there is the river joining the two. And so this is where Jesus gets baptized when he is in the Eridanus, the Jordan, in, in, the, in the head, in the Garden of Eden. Remember, this is the head, heaven. Here is hell. Inferno. But here also is winter. Inverno. Here are the ten concentric rings as we descend from mind, the universal mind. Knowing to universal mind thinking. We are now thinkers. And we have seven conditions, seven vices which we need to turn, seven virtues as we transmute leading to God. And as we ascend the ladder of Jacob and return to unconditioned consciousness. These seven planets, these seven chakras are nothing but conditions. Our consciousness, which was unconditioned, has been conditioned. And we need to sublimate those energies, change them, change the polarity. The divine mind sounds a 12 key diapason. Mind is 12, natural, material, matter is 7. And here again he explains his 12. 12 lights would therefore be the most apt symbol of the 12 basic powers of divine intelligence. And this brings us back to the primal true designation of the 12 rays of genius in man. See we have 12 cranial nerves? That's the Christ and his 12 apostles. 
and those nerves descend into the land of the Gentiles to witness and bear witness to the Gentiles to save them. Because from here, salvation for the rest of the body occurs through the nervous system and through the sublimating of the nervous system. Our nervous system is evolving according to its consciousness. You see how simple the nervous system is of animals? The Ten Rings. These are the Ten Rings because they're based on seven levels. This is the beast in Revelation. It says it has seven heads and ten horns of Revelation. It's in your body. They are also the twelve reapers of the golden grain, the twelve harvesters of the field of Amenta, the twelve builders, the twelve carpenters, twelve masons, twelve potters, twelve weavers of the pattern, twelve fishermen, twelve rowers of the boat with Horus, twelve sailors in the ship of Ra, the sun. They are the twelve powers of sun god intelligence. And as ancient philosophy brings out the astounding facts that sunlight is the eventual product of divine meditation, the light of the sun is the pure energy of intellect, says progress in one of the most illuminating sentences ever uttered. And so in the classroom here, when the oil descends into the third ventricle, uh, the third heaven, it gets differentiated. <clears throat> so it gets differentiated. The pineal gland produces a positive fluid, the pituitary body produces a negative fluid, and the, pi the positive fluid goes down the pingala, red, all the way down to the sacral gland. This is the sacral. And the pituitary body sends the negative fluid down the ida, and this is the shushumna in the middle. So you have the two kundalini serpents, and the oil is differentiated here in the, in the third ventricle, and it comes to the sacrum. This is where Scorpio is. Now, the sacrum, this, you'll find this information in 10 natural treatments you haven't heard of until now. William Wong. The sacrum forms the bottom pump for the cerebrospinal fluid for respiration. The sphenoid and occipital bones at the floor of the brain form the top of the pump. When you breathe, these cranial bones teeter-totter against each other at their meeting point in the center bottom of the skull. This action pumps brain fluid around the brain case and down the spinal canal. Again, when you breathe, the sacrum rocks minutely, front and back, pumping the fluid back up. So, every month, when the moon is transiting your sun sign, every sign, 29 days, she goes right through the 12 signs. And she spends two and a half days in each sign. When she's in your sun sign, she births a psychophysical germ in your solar plexus. Here, that's 12 nerves. Again, 12, that's why it's a solar plexus. From the sacrum here, and in here, this is Virgo, Bethlehem, where baby Jesus is born. This seed is called Jesus, the child of Joseph and Mary. Joseph is the pineal gland, Mary is the pituitary gland. And, and so, if we look after that seed that is very tender, it eventually will ascend. Because when the oil returns and gets crucified here, Joseph and Mary, the pineal gland of the pituitary gland, very, very happy. The oil then goes into the third ventricle, which is called the cave of Brahma, where Brahma is dead for three days, or Jesus is laid in a tomb for three days. Then activation happens. The pineal gland is touched with this oil. The pineal gland already produces melatonin and dimethyltryptamine. It commences to produce something which is called the blood of the Christ. This is Christ turning water into wine. This is what in occult science is called the good wine. Finally, we have wine, not water, in our blood. And this blood of the Christ cleans the blood, purifies the blood, administers the 12 salts that we need, and we can live virtually forever if we do this process. This is um, the pituitary store. It's all there. They knew what they were doing. <coughs> Here's all the chakras, when you add the petals, 4, 6, 10, 12, 16, 96, you get 144. When you multiply it by the top crown chakra, 1,000, you get 144,000. Revelation 14, 1. And look, 
and I saw the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, there is the Lamb, standing upon Mount Zion, and 144,000 singing the song of the Christ. Because we are all of the 144,000, if we return like the prodigal son back to his father's kingdom. Really are. In our culture, of course, they'll say you're crazy and you're blasphemous, and they'll either put you in jail or in a nut house. However, if you wake up in India and tell your friends and relatives, my goodness, I've just discovered that I am God, they'll laugh and say, oh, congratulations, at last you found out. which I'm going to reveal to you today is the secret of the Christ within. Not without, the Christ in you. And that's this Christ. You see, there are 33 bones along here. And when you get to the last one and you cross the medulla oblongata here in the bottom, at the bottom of the head, and here are the 12 cranial nerves. When you get to the 33rd bone where the Christ is crucified, it gets crucified at this cross here. See, this is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the nerve that goes through your body. It's vagrant. It just wanders around through the body, feeding the heart, the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, all the vital organs, and then it returns all the fluid back to the cerebrum. Aries, the ram, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. In the book of Revelation, it mentions the Lamb of God 29 times. 